I just want him to look at me. So I'll go around to his tail and that will help him bend his body around and look at me. And when he does, I back off and I go around his tail this way. And he should be find a way to bend and then start to look at me and I come back off. And that way he feels kind of rewarded for looking at me. Really, really simple process. Once he kind of lines up with me like this, I can walk straight in, but kind of slowly, and offer my hand. And he can connect with my hand, he can touch it, and then I can walk away. If he doesn't touch my hand, I will touch him right there on the nose. But he'll probably touch your hand because you're new. Once he allows me to do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold that touch right on, right on the tip of his nose. I'm actually making a little bit of pressure, just like 10 ounces of pressure, just making contact, because this horse is extremely sensitive. If I just go to pet him, he's going to go like, whoa, I don't know if I, I, if I can handle that. So I make contact like a form of reassurance, like, like it's okay that we're making contact right now. So not only do I get curiosity, from him, but I also give him reassurance that this contact right here, if he moves his head, I follow his head until I can touch him on that nose and I can hold that pressure for a second or two and then I walk away and I reward him for allowing that. Once we can do that, so there's three things I want you to do. One, let him touch you. Two, touch him and reassure that contact. And three, once that's happened in your favor, then you can reach in here and actually pet him. And then walk away. Now, he's a allowed me a lot further than that. I've almost to the place of haltering him. But I want to make sure that we get this initial contact right. So he allows me in here like this. He even allows me to touch him with both hands. It's still really skeptical to watch him. He's, he's out of there. He's like, that's too much for me. So if something like that happens to you, let him go. Let him drift. And then reestablish that, ali that alignment and walk straight in here again and make contact again, and then walk away. It's a really, really simple process, and I'll guide you through it. So who wants to go first? Ethan. Ethan, come on in. You can come on in the corner and hop the fence, or you can go all the way around to where Carrie is at and walk through the gate. Hi, Diana. Good morning. You can come on in if you like, if you want to get closer. <laughs> That's okay. So, he's all yours. This horse is going to get about a dozen positive interactions today. Yeah, go to his hindquarters, see if he'll respond to you. There, great. He'll line up with you. Good, then walk straight in and see if he'll, he'll let you, or he'll sniff your hand. You see how Ethan's got a nice flat profile. His body's angled away from the horse. Great. And then you walk away. That's like a reward. You can come in for the next step. And you can make contact and reassure that contact. Actually, press against his nose just a little bit. If he really accepts the contact, he'll press against your hand. It'll be like a handshake. And then the last piece is go ahead and touch him on his head and rub him a little bit.
Yeah, and then walk away, and that's great. Just had a great positive human interaction. Fantastic. Who's next? I mean, if we had all day, we'd spend, each person would end up riding him. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, um, <You> go first. <laughs> yeah. If he stays lined up, you can go right in. If he moves off, you'll have to go around to his tail. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, see, the temptation is to sort of just pet him because he seems calm. But you, you'll see if you move too quick with him, he's still quite skeptical. And I want to earn his trust. I want him to be perfect as far as trusting humans. And, he ha and he's not yet. But if we build that foundation and really set it in stone, then uh, all the other issues that horses have when it comes to bucking with the saddle or, or not crossing a stream, all those issues won't be an issue if we build this foundation first to where he truly trusts humans. We don't really have to set boundaries with him because he's not running over us. And he's not really running away from us much. See, Phil. He's about as wild as they come, I think. They're, he's... Um, you can feel that energy in him, just like, I don't know about this. There you go, and then touch him again. And then while you've got him holding still, see, back away a little bit, and then come back in. Good. Yeah, leave on that one. See, traditionally, if a horse drifts away, you don't want to reward them for drifting away. You'll actually step in to sort of say, look, you don't just get a drift away from me. But with a horse that's this wild, if you step in, that's like a threat to them. Like, oh my gosh, I knew it, you're going to eat me. So by stepping away, when he, when he drifted away, you gave him that space. Good, Katie. You got him lined up, you can walk straight in. Good, then walk away and then back in. Have you ever touched a wild Mustang before? I had a friend that has a horse in Cool, cool. Now, drift away. That's it. She, she pulls away to sort of say, look, I won't threaten you, but I do need you to look at me. So, go back to his butt. Good. And every one of you, good, and then back away a little bit, has a different energy. So, this is why I, like, I wanted to do this for him today. So, he says that just because ev everybody's different doesn't mean... It's a threat to me. Now, he's not reaching out to you, so you go ahead and reach to, the, to his nose yeah, and put the back of your hand on his nose and make contact. Good, and then walk away. Good. Good. This is so cool for him. Good, you're almost at that last step. One day, a week or two or three from now, he won't even be 
skeptical of people. He'll just let you in. He'll let you do anything, like Justice there. You know, what was, how long ago did we work with Justice the first time? Three weeks ago? Four weeks ago? Seven weeks? Okay, so like two months ago almost. But look at him now. He's just so much different. Good, Katie. <laughs> nice job. I know he's, you want to cuddle him. Like, you're different. What is this about you? You're different. It's your haircut. Look at that. Reach your hand out. Say hi. That's pretty special when a wild animal will reach out to you like that. See? Nope. Back away. Back away. There you go. Back away. Now, you can totally look at him. You can look at him. You, there's, a, there's an old saying that says, don't look at your horse. Um, it's inaccurate. You can look him right in the eyeball. Um, it's the way that you look at a horse that they feel threatened. So just have that friendly, I love you, I want to connect with you look on your face. And he will respond well to it. See, horses out in the wild, zebras out in the wild, they can tell the difference between a, a lion that wants to eat them today and a lion that's just passing through. And they can totally see that. Walk this way. There you go. Oh, look at that. He followed you. Good. Now just... I'd prefer if you come in straight to him rather than crooked. There you go. So when you pat him the first time, come right at his nose. Like, there you go. Your body and his body line up. That's it. There, and then walk away while he's really trusting you there. Yeah, it was nice. That was awesome. Well done. Who's next? Emma, want to give it a go? Oh, come on, come around, Emma. Look at that. Yeah, good, Katie. And kind of angle yourself towards his nose. Come straight lined up with his shoulders and hips. Yeah, cool. Make contact and, and reassure that contact. You'll actually press in against his nose. Good. Now go ahead and step to the side. You can actually, since he didn't leave you, you can if his feet leave, you could just kind of got to let him leave. But when his head leaves, you can actually just step around in front of his head again. Like this, you can just take a step that way. Yeah. And that way. Yeah. Good. Very nice. <laughs> Your wild Mustang tamer.
Tiffany, have you, Tiffany, have you pet him yet? No. You want to? Yeah. All right. And Diana, you're welcome to come pet him as well. I'll take care of that. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Emma. He's lined up. You can go right in. Nice. Good. That's all right. Good. Put your hand out like this next time and make and actually press against the bottom of his nose and see what that feels like. See if he'll press back. Yeah, good. Uh, let her be, she's good. There you go, Emma. Nice, very nice. Come on in. You guys are helping me train my horse, so this is awesome. You're all invested in him now. You can get a close up of those hooves now. Oh, uh, Lori, would you please trim him while you're there? Yeah. <laughs> Good. His, everything so far, is, he's been very accepting, wouldn't you say? But it's just barely accepting on his terms. Like he's saying, I'll do this, but he's holding his breath the whole time. Oh, that's so nice. That's just distraction. That's not it got anything to do with you. So you can reach in higher now and, and meet him at his level. Press against his nose. There you go. Now, I debated it whether or not to do this well, last night. Rachel and I were talking, like, is, it, is he ready for this many people? He is that skeptical. He is that wild. But I'm glad we're doing it. You guys have got a good feel. Your technique is good. You're very patient. Most everything Lori's dealing with now is distraction related. He's not worried about you. You should be able to pet him. Very good. Very good. Yeah, we call it good. Oh, he's distracted, but he's not worried about you. So that's my main goal. So we'll call that good. Who else we got, Bill? And Pat, you've touched him already, but you're welcome to again. Oh, Tiffany's here, Bill. Wait. Oh, you. Oh, sorry, Bill. No, I'm sorry, Tiffany. I didn't see I Tiffany there. In the wing. Go ahead, Tiffany. Uh, you don't have to walk around to his hind quarter. You can come right, right in the front. Very nice. Good, and then step away half a step, and then back in and see if you can pet him. Yeah. Good. Pedal on the full. Yeah, you went to a different spot. 
So go to his forehead. That's it, you can follow him there. There you go. You can step in around his fr friend again. That's it. Everything he's got going on is distraction related right now. That's good. That's good. There you go, good. All right, Bill, if you want, you're next. This is also good, Bill climbing over the fence like this, because when they when they captured him and put him in the horse trailer for us, there's a guy on top of the fence just flagging and pushing and driving, and and he's, he's he was very very skeptical of people on the fence. Good. No, I think it's just different energy, different people. And he's also got a lot of distraction here. Very good. Good. So, um, go on ahead one more time and then I'll, I'll come in and finish up with him. Yeah, look how nice that is. Good. There, nice ending. Nice work, Bill. High five. <laughs> okay. I'm going to. Oh, yeah. Patrick, Mandy. Want to come touch the Mustang, Mandy? Come, after, come on after Pat. We've got our Mustang training cat. That's it. Around the tail, and there he goes. Beautiful. He lines up. He walks right in. Now, he's ready for more, but I don't want to. I, I also want you guys to feel like what is the first step and actually do that first step and feel it. Technically, he's being patient enough. You could go in and start scratching him and bonding with him more, but I want him to have a dozen really great experiences. Good. Yeah, it's good. It's a good start. Oh, yeah, Gary. Go ahead. Come on around, Mandy. That's nice. Yeah, I'll take a couple. Good. Come on in, Mandy. Oh yeah, you go ahead. Go, you can hop the fence. <coughs> nice, Carrie. Good. Very good. He's a lot better now, huh? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Go touch the wild mustang. Want me to get your saddle? Yeah, I just there you go. That's just distraction, so you can move right in and do some more. There you go. It's a totally different energy. So 
back away and say thank you for letting me do that and then come back in and try again. Good. You can head back in. He only needs about five to ten seconds to sort of process what he just went through. Good. 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 That's it. Okay, I'll finish up with him because I want to show you the last little piece that I like to do with him. Oh, come on in, Diane. I didn't know you were ready. Come on in. You get to touch a wild Mustang today. Had he is very wild right now. No, no. You wouldn't want to touch him if he was acting wild. There you go. He's so much more accepting now. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I'm going to have Diana do the last bit. Go ahead, walk in. Pet him on the nose, just like you did. Slide down to the right. Pet him on the neck. Yeah. Good job. So your energy is a little too fast. So then you need to back off a little more often. So you can always come back in rather than stay in. So head back in now. Yeah. The horse has got to handle fast energy, but not till after they really trust you. Once they start to say, oh, you're the guy that takes care of me, bonds with me, sets boundaries, sets the rules. Then you start teaching them to handle, fa that's the bravery test. You start saying, now can you handle my hand if it goes real fast? All right. Good, Diana. Good breath. <laughs> One more time. Head in. See if you can slide down his neck there. Good. You can go down that side. You can go down the side that he gives you. Ah, good. A little, little fast, huh? It's good. Head back in. You found the limit of how fast you can go. You can still go down his side, you just have to go a little slower. Your hands need to move a little bit slower. That's it. That's nice. Look at him licking and chewing. That's a nice thing. Good. Good. Let's call that. That's, that's awesome. You did great. You touched a wild Mustang today. <laughs> He's looking at you too. He's like, where did the Diana go? I like Diana. <sighs> so once he lets me in, I can start looking for his scratchy spots. This is a really, really important stage to get to before you ever put a halter on a horse. Where he starts to go, you know what? I don't just trust you. I like you. You're the guy that gives me the best feelings. And at that stage, when they start giving you that kind of expression, I think, okay, he's accepting two hands, he's accepting all these people touching him, he's looking for people, we could probably put a halter on him. But we won't, not today. Instead, what we'll do is, first I'll say thank you, that was awesome. You guys enjoy that? Yeah, cool. Um, let's get Justice, take him to the round pen, I'll show you the next step with Justice, and then we'll go get our horse the saddle and ready.